Hello, casual dresser here for the 19th time today. You wouldn't believe what a nightmare this has been. The microphone didn't work. Then I shot it in the wrong format. So I've done this video twice. Here's the third time. Let's hope it's a lot better. I'm going to show you the jacket that I think has been faked the most in the last few years. And I'm going to show you a few of my pickups. <laughs> So before I get into my pickups and before I get into the most fake jacket of recent times, I want to show you this. Uh, this is the Darlington Smock. I had a few messages from my last video because the last time I was wearing it, I had my microphone and it kept hitting these toggles, which kept making a banging noise, so I apologised on my video. But people have asked me where I got it from. So, first thing I'm going to do is send you over to their website. It is Casual Divide Clothing. Here's a bit of music. Have a look what they've got. Now I hope you agree that what they've got is absolutely fantastic. This is the Darlington Smock. It cost me £50, uh, sent from the lads in Stoke. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant, spot on. It's got front kangaroo pocket. The material's so nice. I don't like things that cling to me. This is a lot looser. This is a 2XL and I'm normally about an XL, XXL in Stone Island. So it probably fits almost true to size, maybe size up one in the smocks. This is the navy. I love the subtle logo on the arm. I like the detailing in the neck toggles. Um, and as you know, I like a good hood and I don't like it to go too far down my legs. So it's spot on for me this. Uh, casual divide clothing. So it's run by a lad called Daniel Jones in Stoke. He also works for uh, Terrace's menswear, so the sort of two are probably complement each other very well. He sets it all up himself, so it's his own business. He set it up from the ground during lockdown, very similar to my videos. Um, does all the designing, manufacturing, uh, getting it out there, the product out there, he does it all. Um, so big thumbs up to you, and you know, and I know, and my people who watch the videos know that I'm a massive supporter of independent brands, and this is one of them. Um, if you've got an independent brand that you'd like to show on my video, get in contact, uh, email here, or Instagram. Instagram's probably preferable because I'm on there a lot more. Um, yeah, get in contact and show me something. So, Daniel Jones, Casual Divide Clothing. Now, here are some of the people wearing it. I am not a music person. I've got to admit that. I'm not a music person. But this lad apparently is becoming big on the indie scene. It's Andrew Cushing. He's got one on here. Uh, we've got Nick Powell, I know who he is, used to play for Man United, now plays for Stoke. Here he is wearing one. And then something called Magic Mod, I'd never heard of them until I googled them. And they perform for people like Liam Gallagher. Um, so say no more, and that's probably going to uh, link well to this video that I'm going to show you shortly. Um, but, yeah, the name came from that we are all sort of brought together by the same... Uh, fashion, we all go out for a beer, we all love football. However, the divide is we all support different teams and that's where his sort of ideas come from. Love the idea. Head across to his website. Also message him personally because he is a fantastic guy. I've been chatting to him. He can't help enough. Um, so get across there and yes, support these independent brands. And now let's go look at some of my latest pickups and then we'll have a look at the most fake jacket. Okay, first jacket, first pickup, 2021 Stone Island Chambray Denim Mac. It's a Mac because it's long and it's too long for me. I like my things to stop here. This doesn't stop till down here. Some people can pull off a Mac like perfectly. I am not one of those. Why do I like it? Right, here's some stock pictures. Better than me taking pictures. I've realised that I can't take pictures. Pretty good at doing videos. 
but I can't take pictures. So um, I like the white detailing against the denim actual color itself. Here's me close to camera. So the white buttons, love the white drawstrings around the waist. It just breaks it up slightly. White zip and it's button over, which keeps it really, really stylish. Now, another reason I don't like the jacket or I can't wear the jacket is because I wear a lot of denim. And for me, the only people who should be wearing double denim are bewitched those uh, fantastic Irish lyricists. Um, you know who they are. Don't pretend you don't. Um, yeah, so do I like the jacket? Yeah, but I couldn't wear it. It's a standard, standard badge, so the chances are it's not going to fall apart. RRP was massive, so RRP was £750 on this jacket, and it will be for sale on my Instagram, although not at £750. Um, this is a large, and it comes up really big, so... I'm XL slash XXL, it fits me perfectly. It's a 24 and a half inch pit to pit. So this is gonna fit an XL wearer. A large, it would be too big for you. So an XL wearer, so you're gonna have to size down one. Um, but yeah, it's a, over across on my Instagram page. Um, and here's my Instagram page, just in case you don't know it. Although you should know it by now because I always put it on these YouTube videos. But yeah, first pick up, 2021 Stone Island Denim Mac. Okay, so this one, slightly different. This is the 2008 Millie Meagly Explorer jacket. And I started with the hood up because in my last video that went wrong, I couldn't get this zip very easily. It's quite fiddly on your own. However, I am now the expert. Um, so. Yeah, it's 2008, it's an Explorer. It's not a goggle jacket, because a goggle jacket has the hood that then pops the goggles down. This is a zip up front, and I got it all the way from Denmark. So big shout out to you if you've sewn this jacket in Denmark. Um, and yeah, it comes in like parts. So you've got, it's a lino flax. Um, you've got four pockets, a bit like the David TC. It's really lightweight and it is in outstanding condition. It is going to be for sale. I just don't know how much yet. So if you're really interested in it, get across to me. Here are some pictures. Uh, it's in the archive. It is immaculate. The only thing that isn't now over time from 2008 is the watch viewer. Um, let me just close this off. The watch viewer here. And let me close this off. The watch viewer the writing has come off it um, over time, but the rest of it is immaculate. And it sort of changes color over time because the actual fibers and fabric, as they get old, sort of go a little bit darker. And that's why the jacket changes from a cream to a slightly darker cream. So what happens then is we zip up the front, we put the hood over, we zip it all the way up, and then there's a separate zip here that then brings the Explorer side to it, and it's absolutely mint. I mean, you can imagine wearing this at the match. And there is a picture, I think I'll find it now, or I'll try and find it, hopefully the picture here, a very famous picture of someone wearing it at a match. And if the picture's not there, I apologize. Um, but yeah, this will be going up. It's a 52, which really fits as a large. I'm an XL, and this is very fitted. I would say for this style of jacket, you really want it to be a little bit looser. And this is a little bit probably too tight around the waist for me. So if you're a large wearer, 52 in CP, this is the perfect item for you. Like I say, mint condition, it's just coming from Denmark um, and it is one of the archive like pieces. This is the bees, knees. So head across, don't be scared, get it on, look the business. And here is the most recent item I've got in and the jacket that I feel has been faked the most over the recent years. I want to get it right. Art number, okay? 701563939F2. It is the 2019 Black Ghost Resin Cotton Smock, okay? This is an XL, and it comes up 25 inch pit to pit. Now, when you're putting it on, it feels a bit tight. When you get it on, it's a little bit more roomy. So I would say, 
this is probably for an XL wearer. Unless you like your smocks to be a little bit bigger, then it'll fit a large well. XXL, I'm not sure. So you're looking to be a large wearer or an XL to get this one. It will be up on my, on my Instagram at some point, but not the moment, because this is the perfect beer wearing, wearing, beer drinking garment. This is the one of choice, really. Imagine this, pair of shorts, pair of trainers, at the pub, summer night, drinking. So it's not going just yet. Why do I like it and why do I think it's the most faked, right? I like it because it's really simple. Cotton, okay, all cotton, nice little feature on the neck. Um, two front pockets, two long front pockets, and that is important. Um, it's a smock design, it's got a hood, it's subtle, and it's dark. They're my colours, that's my style. It became big, so 2019, it launched at about £395. It's not a massive RRP on it. Then, this guy wore it. The man himself, Liam Gallagher, and all of a sudden, there's a Liam Gallagher tax on every single jacket, and the prices went through the roof. And I can see why, because people who love Liam Gallagher want to wear some of his items. And actually, this was limited in terms of, they didn't make thousands and thousands and thousands of these. These weren't a huge run. Liam Gallagher wore it, bang, everyone wants one. It's a ghost piece, so the badge matches the item dyed the same colour, it's not a shadow piece, which he also loves to wear, this is a ghost piece, and it is a smock, and it is absolutely banging. So, prices jump through the roof, why do I think it's the most faked item? Okay, A, it's cheap to make, it's cotton, and there's not a lot to it, it's not like a massive down jacket where you have to add inners to it, you have to add the down, this is a cotton piece, and it's probably made out of only one or two pieces of material, so easy to make. Um, second thing, it's probably cheap to make, because it's just cotton. And third, and probably the most important, the RRP started low, but now it's high. So if you can sell some fakes of these, you are gonna be absolutely quids in. So how do we spot these as a fake? Right, first thing is these pockets. These pockets are long. On the fakes, or most of them, not every one of them, on the fakes, these pockets seem to be a lot shorter. So we're looking for long pockets like this one. Second of all, the material. We're not looking for a shiny material, this is a, a dull cotton, okay? Some of the ones I've seen out there are a little shinier. A dull cotton. And the third, and probably the most important for this item, is you need a Certi logo with it. So a Certi logo is gonna scan as genuine, all right? If the Certi logo's been cut, people will be saying, right, okay, it's from a gray market, it's from a reseller, and a gr the gray market means this. If you are a store that doesn't have an official link to Stone Island and can't stock it, you find your own sort of importers, they need to stop it being traced back to them. So what they do is they cut the tags so that it can never be traced back to them. That means the store um, have to sell it without a Certi logo. And I've talked about this before, they should be telling you in bold letters when you buy it, it will not come with a Certi logo. Because something without a Certi logo, A, is gonna drop in price massively, but B, you're gonna find it very, 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 very hard to sell it on. And probably C, there's a chance it could be fake because nobody ever knows. One of the only ways you can probably tell on Certi logo, when it's been cut, if the word Certi logo is still on there, the L, the bottom of the L, will have a little bit of a wavy bottom to it. Sometimes it's more obvious than others. I've got a couple of items where the L's quite straight, there's a little bit of a kink on it, but they're authentic, okay? So have a look at the Certi logo, is the L wavy? I'm showing you a picture here. If it is, is a Certi logo there. If it isn't, I would just stop straight away. If that Certi logo has been cut, do not buy it. It is not worth it, okay? Try and find a real one. Um, so yeah, that's what we're looking for, Certi logos that haven't been cut. Now, I talk about Certi logo. I know a person who sold me some items and the Certi logo was cut. I know who he is. I know his actual wardrobe. The only reason he cut them, if you wear something, imagine that there's nothing underneath it. So for example, T-shirts, jumpers, if you wear nothing underneath it and you have two big labels consistently rubbing into the side of you, it's an absolute pain. So some people do cut the, the labels themselves if they know that they're not going to be selling the item. But that will be items that don't have anything. You'd always have a t-shirt underneath this. You're not going out without a t-shirt. So there's no real reason to cut the Certi logos on this. Yes, yeah, so there's loads of fakes out there because people knew that people wanted this smock. So don't get dumb. I think it is the the most faked item, probably along with the Telestella, and the Telestella is exactly the same. 
once you know what the material is, and they did know what the material is, it's one piece of material, it's cheap to make, and people are going crazy over them. And that's the only reason you probably make a fake. There's no point making a fake of an item that's not very popular because not many people are going to want it. So please buy with confidence with a Certi logo. That's what it's there for. Um, and this has got Certi logos, etc., with it. And eventually it will be on Instagram, but it isn't just yet. I hope you agree. I hope you agree that this is probably the most fake. If you don't, bang a comment underneath. Tell me what you think the most fake is. Um, it would be interesting to see what people say. Thank you to all those people as well who sent me a message, either a personal message or put it in the comments about how good the last video was. Because I mentioned about the troll talking about football casuals and how I don't have any part in that and I should just make videos um, and not be classed as a football casual. And I sort of questioned what a football casual was. And loads of people agreed with me. Loads of people put messages in the comments or message me directly. These videos take a while to make. They might not take long to film, but they take a while to edit. And that bit of uh, support was very, very uh, thankfully received by me. So, you've seen some of our latest pickups. You've seen this pickup, which I also think is one of the most fake jackets. I hope you like the video. The sun is starting to come out. It's almost beer weather. The big jackets are going to be going back into the wardrobe. The lighter summer jackets are going to be coming out. Enjoy your weekend. Hopefully this is launched Friday night or Saturday morning. Enjoy your weekend. Any questions, please put them to me uh, at my email or Instagram. Please do like and subscribe to these videos. Um, it means the world. And share them as well. All right? Take care. Bye.